what you'll need to get started. An impact driver, half inch socket, 7 16th socket, 5 32nd Allen wrench, and the eccentric assembly repair kit. Your kit includes The new aluminum driver plate without through hole prevents liquid contaminants from accessing the eccentric bearing system. First, remove machine weights. Using a half socket, remove the four isolator nuts. Lay the machine back and remove the blue pad. Remove the center Velcro piece for access to the center of the plate. Using a 5-32nd Allen wrench, remove the eight bearing bolts. Remove the aluminum plate. Using a 7 16 socket, remove the cap bolt from the motor shaft. Remove the crush washer from the bearing. Remove the bearing from the motor shaft. This may require a two-jawed pulley puller. Remove the motor shaft spacer. Replace it with the new spacer included in the repair kit. Do not reuse old parts. Only use the parts found in the new repair kit. Apply a thin layer of anisees to the motor shaft. Install the new eccentric assembly onto the motor shaft. Line up the notches on the motor shaft and bearing to insert the key. Run a bead of 100% silicone on the surface of the bearing cup. Install the new motor shaft crush washer and 1 quarter 28 cap bolt. Using an impact driver, tighten the cap bolt until the crush washer becomes recessed. Install the new aluminum driver plate. Using a small screwdriver, align the aluminum plate bolt holes with the eccentric assembly. Tighten the eight bearing bolts. Set the machine upright 
then tighten the isolator nuts. With weights on and a blue pad, ensure the machine is functioning properly. Finally, install the new grip face. Square Scrub strongly suggests watching the grip face installation video.